Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll be looking at the changes for the Windows 10 build 15.055 and all, and all the releases including the uh, 15.048, 15.046, 15.042, 15.031 and 15.0 25 and you might be asking why so many videos on one video well that's because previous releases did include significant changes so i'm just running the map on a single video and everything we'll we'll see today will appear on the uh, creators update so let's dive into the uh, most important changes that we're going to see now on the um, on the windows 10 uh, creators update so first i just want to show you that Microsoft is already referring uh, the new version of Windows 10 as version 1703 this is a starting build 15055 and basically 1703 um, means or refers to uh, the month and year of the release for this update and as you can see it's uh, 2017 and this 03 mark the uh, March release but we know that uh, Microsoft is going to actually release this update on April. But for some reason, they just go, uh, they just went with the uh, 1703 uh, versioning. So now let's move on into the actual changes. Uh, now you can use the uh, pickup where you left off in Cortana which basically allows you to uh, to start uh, reading an article on Microsoft Edge, uh, start working on a file or an app on another computer, and now you can uh, pick up where you left off on another device. So basically when you're working on another computer and then you use another device like your tablet or another laptop, you can come to uh, the uh, Cortana homepage and you will see all the available, all the work that you can pick up where you left off from other devices. Uh, I don't have another device configured with the latest update, so um, you're not going to see on this video things that you can pick up where you left off. But uh, this is how it's going to work. You just come here and just click the link. It will say uh, pick up where you left off and with the list of uh, items that you can click and resume. Now, there is nothing going on on the start menu but now we are going to see a lot of changes or at least a few changes on the uh, on the settings up uh, for example now you're not going to see by default the uh, mixed reality section right here on the um, on the home page for settings but that will reappear when you uh, set up when you actually set up the uh, mixed reality experience on windows 10. now when we go to system and display for the uh, nightlight feature you can now use temperature up to uh, 1200 Ks and the animation to go uh, from on and off uh, using nightlight now takes two minutes which Microsoft thinks that does the uh, correct uh, timing uh, to change the uh, the settings now when we go to battery now on more saving options uh, you get a drop down menu so you can choose how to optimize it, the uh, the battery on your laptop and you can set it to optimize for battery or optimize for video quality something that we we didn't have before and now it's on the uh, settings option and that's a that's a welcome addition now let's move on to apps and features actually to the new apps section and then to the apps and feature settings page because now we're going to see a new option that is called installing apps basically it allows you to choose how how people or how you install apps on your computer so you can now select to only allow apps uh, from the store or anything which is the, uh, the default so you can you can install any apps from anywhere like you used to and also there is another option to warn you before installing an app that is not from the store you will still be able to install it but you will get a warning and if the app you're trying to install uh, it's available on the store or there is an, an, uh, a similar app uh, you will also get a link 
to install it from the uh, from the store let me see if i can just choose the uh, warm um the the warming option and let me see if i can just download and uh, let's see uh firefox let's see if uh let's see if it works i'm going to click right here As you can see now we get um, a warning that the app we're trying to install is not from the store uh, but because we have uh, chosen uh, just to get a warning we'll still be able to update it to to install the uh, the app on on the computer but we can also click the uh, see more in the store to see if there is a similar app which uh, I'm pretty sure there Firefox doesn't have a uh, browser on the uh, on this on the Windows Store just yet. Uh, so that's how the uh, new um, installing apps uh, feature works. So if I actually chosen the allowed only from the store, let's see what happens if I try to re-download this again. I'm gonna click run and as you can see now we get a similar uh, warning but we don't have an option to install the app so you won't be able to install Firefox on this machine if that uh, option it's enabled so that's how the uh, how the new feature works and now let's move on to uh, let's move to the uh, accounts section let me go back and let's go to accounts and let's go to the uh, signing options on signing options we get dynamic lock which is a feature that allows windows 10 to lock your pc when a device you assign is not on range so when uh, for example you can uh, pair your phone using bluetooth to your com uh, to your computer and then just check this box and then when that phone is not nearby your computer will lock automatically it's just a security feature that makes it easier um, uh, to keep your uh, computer more secure uh, when you're when you are like in a coffee shop or or you're at work and and, and perhaps uh, may, maybe you forget to lock your pc if you have the phone with you and you just went to another room your computer will lock automatically so now let's go back to home and now we also are going to see that the uh, uh, gaming icon has been updated and then when we go to the uh, to this new section now we're going to see that all the uh, pages they have their corresponding icon and in the uh, game bar page we're going to see that the uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts page has been updated and there's nothing new nothing has changed since before it's just how the layout works so you here you can you can create your own shortcuts if you don't like the uh, the ones that has been predefined and now we're also going to see some uh, for example here you're going to see that now we see the um, Xbox icon on this option and that's pretty much it for this and now let's go back to privacy and privacy nothing has really changed but um, some of the setting has been removed and been relocated for example instead of I think you used to have like six or eight uh, options here and now we only have three that you can turn on and off but you will see uh, those options on different sections of the operating system now let's go back to home and go to easy of access and on narrator we had seen before that uh, windows 10 includes now support for braille but now you can actually install it and enable the feature and choose the uh, different options if you need to set this up and last 
on update and security pretty much everything is still the same but when you go to the change like the active hours we're going to see a new experience it, it just looks a little bit different that's that's what's being changed but all the uh, settings and everything is still the same on the advanced options section now we can still pause updates but as you can see Microsoft it's limiting the uh, the days that you can pause update up to seven days from 35 so if you don't want to install updates uh, right away you can turn this on and every time there is a, like a new update instead of installing it right away uh, you will uh, it will it will be delayed for uh, seven days on updates um, Microsoft what's also doing is adding a, uh, a snooze button when there is a new update ready to be applied on your computer so it doesn't reboot your uh, computer automatically when you're at work so that I think that option it's on I think it's this one uh, this is the option that you actually have to enable to see a notification but I, I think that also happens automatically I'm not really sure on that one um, basically what's going to happen is you're going to see a pop-up let me see if I can go to I'm gonna close this in. so this is the actual box that you're going to get uh, when the when there is a new update uh, to be applied on your computer you can choose to restart now you can pick up a time and now there is also a snooze button that you can click and that will postpone or delay uh, the restart of your computer to apply the update for up to three days will should be enough time to uh, save your work all right so that's what's also going on on Windows update now let's move on to the uh, Windows Defender on the Windows Defender section, we're no longer going to see any of the uh, settings for the antivirus because now we get the uh, Windows Defender uh, Security Center and that's where all the settings for the antivirus are plus many others. So now let's see if I can just find it. So now all the settings for the antivirus or you're going to find it here and we've seen this uh, application before but now we also have a a app and browser control section that allows you to control different uh, Windows Defender is a smart screen settings for apps in the web browser so you can I wouldn't I will not change these settings but if you really have to you can come here and change it so you can uh, uh, change the settings for check and apps and files and for Microsoft Edge uh, the smart screen for Microsoft Edge and the smart screen for the uh, Windows Store apps uh, we also now can go to the settings page and change the settings available so you here you can uh, turn on and off uh, firewall notifications and the uh, Windows Defender antivirus notification as well right here let me see if I can click here and here's where you get all the uh, uh, settings that used to be on the uh, on the settings app another change that it's uh, another improvement that it's going on, on that is going on on the um, Windows 10 creators update it's um, a new mode co uh, called uh, compact overlay which is basically a new feature that allows developers to add, to add a picture-in-picture -picture experience so you can continue to uh, to do work uh, while you're doing other things uh, currently there is no an app that supports that it's built in into the operating system but it doesn't support that I mean there is no like an app that actually uh, includes that feature right now Microsoft said it is updating the um, the movies and TV and Skype preview apps to include this feature but basically this is how it's going to look like so like if you're working on Excel or OneNote you can 
uh, start like watching a movie or a video on on an app that supports uh, compact overlay and you will be able to uh, just uh, click a button and get a, a smaller version of the uh, of the app just to uh, watch the video now that we're on Microsoft Edge I would also like to point out that we get a new icon for share and we also get a new icon for hub and also Microsoft Edge now by def uh, by default blocks flash content which is nothing new uh, on this uh, on these releases but now we're going to see uh, a new um, alert that makes it clear that the content on the page it's being blocked so for example I'm going to show you from Microsoft when they release um, uh, an update they show that now you're going to get this um, uh, kind of like pop up or notification that something uh, if if you see something missing that's because it's being blocked so you can just click got it and then when you need to uh, re-enable uh, that content if you want to see that content just click the uh, puzzle icon and just click allow once or always allow so every time you go to that page you will see uh, the flash content and that's basically all that's new with uh, with these builds for the uh, uh, Windows 10 Creator update. Remember to like the video, share it, and leave your comments. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.